everyone. Today I'm here with our new build. Uh, finally got it done. This is a 2001 Peterbilt 379 extended hood. Um, we uh, just went through the whole thing. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Before we get started, I'm going to let you know previous salvage on it. Um, had nothing to do with the truck being in a wreck. Nothing was wrecked. If you've seen the earlier builds in this video series, uh, some wiring in the bunk had caught on fire and melted part of the through like where the bed was on the back. We've went entirely through the wiring on this truck, obviously removed the bunk and made this a day cap. Yes, it's prior salvage. There's nothing wrong with the truck. There was no actual damage, physical damage to the rest of the truck besides the bunk. As you've seen how we built it in the past in the videos and now with the final outcome. So uh, we'll do a little walk around and I will tell you what I can about what we've done to it. Um, why we did some of the things and we didn't do other ways. I mean, there's a certain point where where do you stop with the, the build? Um, you know, there's obviously more stuff we can do to it. We can put stainless fenders, uh, plastic fenders in the back. We can put an in-frame deck plate with boot boxes and we can put airline boxes on the back to make it look a little better. Um, but we're trying to make a good looking truck that is affordable for a, you know, around here in Iowa, usually it's farmers or somebody that just needs a day cab to run local stuff. So it's a nice truck without going too far to make it outrageously expensive. Um, so one of the reasons we day cab this truck instead of putting another bunk on it and going that way is it does have a C12 cab pillar engine. Um, uh, they're great engines. They just don't quite have the horsepower of the 550 cats and uh, you know people hauling hogs and cattle daily for their job. They usually want more horsepower. So for us, it did not feel right to just throw another bunk on it and go that way. We, we felt we'd be able to get rid of this truck a little easier as a day cab uh, with that smaller engine in it. So uh, we'll go around and tell you some of the things on this truck. So hopefully the wind doesn't bother us too bad with this. I'll tell when I get into edit. But here is, I'll do a full circle on the entire truck here. Like I said earlier, it's an 01 Peterbilt 379 extended hood, C12 cat, 13 speed transmission, new floor, uh, it's a new aluminum floor, um, looks really sharp, uh, we painted it out with black with a little bit of metallic in it, uh, it has leather, brand new Bostrom leather seats, 8 inch, uh, eight inch trucks straight pipes, uh, we got a 20 inch bumper. Uh, box end. We got new paint, brakes and drum. All all lights are LED dual revolution lights made by Trucks Accessories. Um, everything on this truck will go from your regular standard amber for your marker lights or your red for your tail lights. They'll switch to blue on auxiliary so everything will turn blue. Steer tires are 90% they're BFGs. Drive tires are 60% Michelin's. There's around a million miles on this truck. There was a problem with the speedometer when we got it um, from what we were told before and from what we hooked things up. That should be pretty close, but we are not exact. So, going on here, obviously the 20 inch square bumper with tow hook hole. New style Peterbilt ovals for rims that we polished on a polish machine. Talladega fiberglass did the fenders. 
Uh, this is one of the flat line dual revolution lights for trucks, which uh, later on here I will flip these so you'll see the different colors. We did a Darwin style visor to go flat to the windshield. I uh, really like that look on this truck. We also did nine inch drop panels from Talladega, all fiberglass painted. Uh, we've used trucks in the past a lot of times. Um, we actually had these sitting around, wanted to use them up, and uh, we just that's just the way we went. Right here's your truck's accessories, stainless steel step box covers, look really sharp. Here are your eight inch miter cut trucks accessories exhaust. Um, really like this exhaust. We've been having really good luck with it. Um, we use, we have two different companies we use. Trucks is one of the companies we use for exhaust. We did the under the door trim. We did the window chops up here. Come down here to the fuel tanks. We actually had to put on a different set of fuel tanks here. Um, the other ones were just completely junk. We actually had these welded uh, to beefing it up. Um, they were a little older tanks. So underneath the strap is welded and then we just buffed everything out. Welded a new strip. We welded a new strip underneath where everything hooks up. And that's how, how we fixed that there. On the back of the kit, we did the Fat Boy kit, gives you extra room to be able to put your seat back when you're inside so you're not quite so cramped if you're a larger driver. One of the Dual Revolution Trucks Accessories flatline lights on the back of the bunk. Those were all also turned to blue. And I know everybody in the comments will give a shit for just doing this for our airlines and our electric. Well, to be honest with you, we're trying to keep the price down. We have no problem throwing a stainless steel box on here, making it look even nicer. But either way, we're gonna need this stuff here. The wiring right there and everything else. So we do it like that. Hey, if somebody wants that box put on, those box, I believe, depending on which style you go with, they're about 400 to $450. And then we can install it, or you can take it home and install it yourself if you decide to buy this truck. But this is how we do it to keep the price down to where people can decide what they want themselves. We've just used aluminum diamond plate for the deck. Uh, again, you can always go fancier. It's just gonna cost that right there. If you went with an Iowa Customs or something like that, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be probably that long with that much stuff, probably about $1,000. Well, some people don't want that. Farmers around here might not need that, might not wanna care about that much expense. If they want it we can always add it it's not a problem so here we got the aluminum wheels again uh, new new style Peterbilt's we've got uh, the trucks accessories top hats for your hub covers and end up covers look really nice after we get them polished out on our machine now to be honest we went with the uh, plastic fenders on this job um, poly fenders that are basically indestructible we had these on hand we had a customer order and buy a set took them home to install them themselves and had problems so they drilled holes in the wrong spot as you can see right here so we were nice enough to give them another set didn't charge them anything we just took this set figuring we could use them sometime well this is the time we're going to use it so all we had to go into was the mounting so we had the mounting already had the fenders and uh took care of a customer at the same time and was able to use some old products um, we tried to treat our customers as fairly as possible um, a lot of this stuff when you're putting it on it looks easy people think oh it should take no time at all to do this well they're wrong it takes a lot of time to do this so um they had us put the fenders on the second time so that tells you anything so right here we got the truck's accessories spring-loaded mud flap hanger with light bar 
we've got the trucks lights again the dual revolution flat line turn to blue we got our mud flaps uh, to be honest with you we will most likely be coloring all the red blue on there we do that a lot on when we do a different job um, we've done purple before on other ones looks really nice so we'll probably be doing that also it just gives you a shot of the rear end area fifth wheel uh, obviously same things on this side So once again, we just have a set of mess up right there that they did. And right here, the way we figure the way this truck is most likely going to use is a farm truck. Uh, that's not going to matter anymore. If they want new fenders, we can put new fenders on. Just, uh, just have to buy them. We can reuse those again later sometime. So we got our tank here just like the other side. Everything pretty much finishes out just like the other side of the truck. Now I'm gonna open the hood or open the door here. So again, we got our aluminum floor. This is the first time of doing this. It's a little dirty. I drove it out here. Um, I haven't cleaned everything up. But uh we got the Iowa Custom sit solo seat base where we can adjust. If you have a shorter driver, they can adjust up here if there's not enough adjustment here, which I would think there would be in a day cab. But with the Fat Boy kit, it does let us move the seat back. As you can see, this is back almost against the back wall. And if you've looked at the previous videos on this truck, we had this truck tore completely down. There was no inside left to it besides the dash. Um, it was darn near a complete rebuild. On this video, we also had a company step up and donate a wheel for us to use on this build. This is the Steering Creations Onyx line wheel. Trying to get it all in the shot here. Um, it's a newer wheel they've come out with. Has the uh, finger grips on the back side, right along here. It's also went, they went with the matte black or flat black, whatever you want to call it, for the middle with their same steering creations, the SCI logo. We have another video posted of us uh, putting the steering wheel on, so we will uh, post that right there. Um, just typical Pete. Um, There's an 01, so it has the one year, this is the year they started changing dashes and make them taller. Not gonna lie, I like the shorter dashes, but what are you gonna do? It does have a Pittsburgh power, um, not something we usually look for, but um, I don't I don't believe this truck. Uh, the guy that owned it before before us was an older guy, so I do not believe it was uh, abused. But uh, the truck runs great. Uh, have have had zero issues with it besides the bunk issue. So now I'll show you the dual revolution lights. Right here, obviously auxiliary, they're red. They're red inside the back of the bunk. Red on the marker light on the fender. Amber on the front. Amber on all your lights up there on top of your cab. Okay, now I'll go switch them to blue. So now as you can see, all the lights have turned to blue.
We went with the single round, the old school look. We did not put LED headlights in it, to be honest with you. We always, almost always put trucks headlights in all of our builds. Uh, we wanted to leave that as an option for somebody um, since it's getting closer to winter around here. So here you can see the motor. Obviously, like I said before, it's a C12. So we'll go in here, we'll start her up so you can hear the engine. So anybody out there looking for a day cab, you're not gonna go wrong with this truck. It uh solid truck, you're gonna really like it. Uh, we have a price where it should should move relatively quick. Um, again, we'll probably have people commenting about price too. Really don't matter. We know what we need and we know what we usually get. So um, hopefully we'll hear some good comments. I'm sure we'll hear pl plenty of bad. Like I mentioned before, I really think this would be a solid truck for anybody who purchases it. Um, if we still have it by fall, we will... Uh, Anyways, like I was saying, I believe anybody who purchases this truck will be very happy with what they get. Um, we've had a very solid reputation of being people being very happy with the trucks they've got. Stay tuned for more builds. Uh, we should hope, I'm hoping to have videos up every week or multiple times a week. Um, I appreciate your time and check out McDonaldTruckSales.com. Um, it's where we try to keep current on trucks we have available. Uh, and then as soon as I have places where you can purchase some of the accessories that we're using in our builds, I will have them linked below. So I appreciate your time. Please check us out. Uh, also check out our Instagram, McDonald Chrome Shop, or our Facebook, McDonald Truck Wash and Chrome Shop. The other thing Trucks Accessories is going to start helping us do is when we're, we're going to start featuring certain products on these builds, and then we will put them, we'll spread them out on our social media. You can go and you can buy them. If you buy them within a certain amount of time, which will be posted, you know, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking 30 days. It'll be like a month special on a certain light or a certain this and that. There's going to be X amount of percent off if you buy it not time. And that will be from Trucks Accessories and hopefully in the future from other build partners. I would like to thank Trucks for helping us out on all the builds we've done so far on this YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank Steering Creations for stepping up with this steering wheel for this build. I hope we can work more in the future with these two companies and others to come. Forgot to mention those are trucks, accessories, dual revolution uh, cab lights. Just like the rest of the truck, they work, will turn blue. As I've said before, trucks has helped us out a lot with these builds and we actually really do like these dual revolution lights. I like all their lights because to be honest with you, they're the best warranty in the business. I've never had them not warranty a light. Um, if you have an issue in a reasonable amount of time, uh, never had an issue. I've had other people call me and say they've had problems with shops not covering their stuff. I've never had that issue. Um, so if you ever need anything, call us. These lights, along with all the other trucks, accessories, dual revolution lights, will be available soon on our shop page which I will link below as soon as it's done. It might not be up when this video is done, but you keep checking back to all of our videos that will be added. Thank you for your time. I hope you'll check out this truck's build, the whole thing, along with uh, our other project that was done earlier this year, about six months ago. Um, it's a white Peterbilt stand-up. Took it all the way down to pretty much nothing and rebuilt. Uh, that was our first series we built. The second series we started doing was an 01 Peterbilt coffin bunk. Great truck, still working on it. We stretched it, put a 2016 cutoff on it with disc brakes. 
different front axle with diff, disc brakes, lowered it. Um, that truck is going to be bad. It's going to be awesome. Uh, then this was our day cab build. We're kind of doing those two at the same time. If you have any questions, leave the comments below. I'll answer everything I possibly can. And for the most part, as you can see, the quality turns out good. Everybody that's ever seen our builds in person, love them. I think if, if you ever have a question while a build, if you don't agree with something, you can question it. You can ask us a question. But I believe if you wait till the end and see the finished product and the quality, I don't think you'll have an issue on our next projects when you see us build them. Thank you for checking out the McDonald Chrome Shop YouTube channel. Also check out our Facebook, McDonald Truck Wash and Chrome Shop on Facebook. Instagram, McDonald Chrome Shop. We're trying to put more up there daily. Uh, we're, we've been a little slow on Instagram. We're trying to work on that. Anyways, if you need anything, email us, Facebook us, Instagram us. I'll get back to you.